the last one. You're welcome. That's a really cute hat. Why, thank you. That's the only reason I took this job. I love little hats. That'll be one dollar. We do have that kitten in the tree on Miss Burbage's drive. Yeah, we've really hit rock bottom. Yeah. Please, please, come, please, in. please come, come in! Come in! Come in! Come in! Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Elaine Watsalami. Somebody stole my sandwich. <gasps> he can't. Dr. Watsalami, my notebook, please. And where were you the last time you saw this I was sandwich? In, I was in the cafeteria. Um, I see, I see. What happened? Well, I was going to grab my napkins, and then a guy just comes up and takes my sandwich. I see, I see. And anything else? Any other details? Um, he looked like he was dressed for the, well, um, he looked like he was dressed for the dance. I see. Interesting. Dr. Watson, what do you think? We have to go to that dance. And why are you wearing that? Is that why you're wearing that dress? Yes. Because of the masquerade ball? Well, let's check there. Perfect. Let's go. What are you doing? Well, I got from you two. Ma'am, can, can I come? Can you come with us? even if you are a princess. Another case solved by Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Elaine Watsalami. But how'd you do it? Well, if you noticed back at the masquerade ball, the princess's robes looked oddly bulgy. It just seemed awkward and unfamiliar, so, but when she did her show off for us and made herself go under the human bridge of the masquerade ball participants, I noticed the main clue, this very toothpick. 
from the sandwich that was stolen by Princess. And after that, I think you all know what happens. Perfect timing. Pickles? I hate pickles! Ugh. Hey, hey, lunch for tomorrow. Another case solved by Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Elaine Watson on it.